me to, so I, I, here yeah. I am. You're I can't actually commentate, but that's, that is I'll just be here. Frozen. I don't play yeah. melee. Yeah, right now we got Mad Dog Zeb and Ju, the Falco Ditto, and all Falco Dittos. So what's going on here? Who knows? Looks like they're not going there. Because that's not a legal stage, but that's a legal stage. <laughs> <laughs> You're already halfway there. You know all the legal stages. I mean, I know the legal stages and yeah. stuff like that. I just you don't know, know like... Oh, frame perfect. This is. Ah, he could have done this there. You <laughs> don't need to know that. All right, let's go. Battlefield. Okay. You and that dot set. Nope. Yes, infinite ammo. You might as well make use of it. This will be a safe option here. Ooh, that dot set going in on on shooter right now. Yeah, I like this, taking the top left more. And Mad Dog Zeb, giving him the spacing, knowing that Falco coming down from above him is a little bit too strong. Oh, nice follow-up. Doing all the fox. Oh, wow! The soft back in the down smash to take the first stock. Really, really solid there from, uh, from June. Mad Dog Zeb is like, I ain't having any of that. Back on the stage. All the way to the forward <laughs> smash to punish the fall now. That is one thing we can say about Mad Dog Zeb, having seen him play. Uh, throughout the week, you know, his punish game is absurdly good. And very janky. That back here will take uh, Zhu's first stop. Yeah, and Zhu going back to the top platform. Worked out from the first time. You know, my mantra is, uh, if something's working, keep doing it until it doesn't. <laughs> the double shine there. Uh, yeah, we have... I guess you could say it's shiny. <laughs> Uh, Alright, well, uh, that's about all we have time for. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ooh. Nair Ooh. out of shine. That was the fastest Nair out of shine I've seen in a very long time. But that's what I expected from you. Oh, and that's a pretty simple edge guard there from you. Nice back air. Matt's gonna fire some lasers down on the way down, but, uh, right now, you in a really great position in this match. I think, uh, what Matt is. Oh, Ooh, no. Oh, no. He didn't. Well, Did he get the bef ledge? Yeah, before uh, Matt unfortunately gave that stock away, I think he needs to make better use of the platforms. If you notice, Zhu is very, very competent in moving away and making sure he's in a position where he's above Falco. But Falco he doesn't have the best options when people are above him, but you know, Falco has one of the best moves coming down, which is in that down air. Ooh, nice. Beautiful back air. Nice. Yeah. That was actually really good timing because it covered all of the p potential angles that Zhu could have for. Oh, nice four tilt, and that'll do it. So, Ju getting the JV3 stock on, uh, made it on his own mat dot. So, Ju taking a minute to think about, think about some bans, think about the match, and he's gonna ban Yoshi's story. And straight to FD, Matt dot Zeb, he kind of leans on FD a little bit, he has a lot of experience here, he does very well here. Without the platforms, he doesn't have to worry about Ju's advantageous positioning. <laughs> right now we're having... The laser battle! It's a laser battle, true to Star Fox. Let's go. Oh, here we go, nice. That was a beautifully timed spot dodge. I mean, it, I mean you could have shielded it, but having better options out of spot dodge, Ju choosing the spot dodge, that uh, laser follow-up. Really, really solid choice there. And oh, it's back here. Matt Dot Zeb is in a good position here to do something. Whoa. Beautiful wait. A lot smash. of people in Colorado would have just taken the ledge right there, but a beautiful wait from Matt Dot Zeb, realizing that the safest option for Zhu to take, um, all things considered, was to go to stage. So covering that beautifully. And right now, Falcos are just trading hits. Nice shine back here. And ooh, I, I actually like this recovery here from Matt Dot Zeb. Stalling a little bit, but. He's gonna get hit by that Nair, and that's gonna be the end of that stock. My God, Zeb, making good use of the uh, intangibility you get when you respawn, just to get some free pressure. And now the beautiful follow-up, the forward air, really, really nice. I appreciate how he watched the DI afterwards on the way down to see if he could get any follow-ups, recognizing he couldn't, got into an advantageous position. Throw, Nair, nice tech chase. Ooh, this is the dash attack, not what he was looking for uh, Matt Dodd's up to do there. Oh, oh nice, no. cancel on the up B. Well, the thing is, is that uh, 
it, it is actually possible to get a side B very, very quickly. And uh, it's something you see uh, local player Holy Nugs do a lot, where he'll get hit by lasers and he can mash so quickly that he can actually get to ledge even if it's uninterrupted, sort of like that. Oh, I see. And that's what he was going for, but unfortunately he dropped a little bit yeah, too low. Yeah, a little bit too low. Dangerous position here. Oh, oh, and turns it around on him. Unfortunately, Jun made the very uh, unfortunate mistake of going a little bit too low there, and uh, Matt dot with again, a beautiful punish. That is, that is the thing about his game that is so on point. Misses that just a little bit, unless he was expecting Jun to miss the tech, but uh, I don't think that uh, Jun is going to miss that tech, guys. Beautiful combo ending in down smash to take that stock, and now we are down to last stock. Jun up one game over Melianami's own Matt dot Zeb. And, uh... Matt Dotzeb still in a good position though, this is key edge guard. Really nice side B space here. Oh, he chooses to go oh, high. Wow. How did, okay, I want to know how Matt Dotzeb had any idea that you would go high in that situation. That was really, really unsafe. That was crazy. What do you think? I think maybe he actually just short hopped in anticipation that he would go there. And more or less, not more or less that he knew. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Because, I mean, if he did snap onto the ledge anyway, then he would just follow up maybe with a back air or something mm. right after. Well, he would have been safe if he went to ledge, right? So it's like, mm. do you cover... You can't cover what was already safe. Yeah. But if you can, like, you know, perhaps what he was thinking was, well, I'll just preemptively back air here. I doubt he'll be here. Yeah. But if he is, he's dead. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you're right. All right. So Dreamland, I actually think this kind of favors Matt Dog's Ed, believe it or not. But, uh... I don't think Zhu is going to be any kind of pushover. He showed that he can do a lot of good work in this matchup. Oh, beautiful double up tilt. A little bit of a risky dash attack. I'm not sure what he was looking for. Nice straight oh, wow. dare out of shield. Oh, oh my god. Dare. Tries to follow the tech. Trying to pull a mango. Not quite. That was oh. a beautiful punish. Zhu immediately spotted the, uh, the, the wall jump and then immediately went out and said, oh, back here. That covers this. Uh, but mainly it on these, uh, Mad Dog Zed coming straight back to take that stock. And now we're even. Three. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Falco does have uh, unlimited ammo. <laughs> He's a filthy cheater. I mean, it is a laser. I mean, yeah, how, could you be, how could you run out of lasers? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't design the, uh, the, the, the laser weaponry, so I can't tell you, I'm afraid. A lot of good work right now. Ju was was uh, a little bit behind, but all of a sudden, it seems like he's starting to play a little bit more defensively, and it's kind of playing into his hand. Not the best of trades there. And this should be it. Yeah, that's that's just a situation that you do not expect a top player to drop. Whenever you're forced into an option off a platform. Uh, you know, a top player is going to cover all the options as much as possible. Matt does end with a bit of a flood there, not taking edge in time. And uh, Zhu's going to live and get a nice extra Ooh, credit nice percentage. Back. Oh, yeah, but no, no, he takes oh, the stock no. with him. Matt dot Zeb dropping the stock, really unfortunate. And here's the waiting game. Nobody wants to come down and lose their intangibility before the other player. It's, you know, the, the half second of being completely... You know, I mean, every percent vulnerable. counts. Yeah. Well, that and just half second in which you're completely invulnerable, a lot can happen. Get oh, stuck in the you, combo and stuff. I, th I think that uh, Matt Dunzeb losing that stock was a bit of a mental guard crush, and now it's just it's just not looking as solid. Yeah. Hopefully he can get something going here. See what I mean? He's kind of swinging a little bit, throwing out a few more moves. Uh, nice light shield there from Zhu uh, to get off that platform. A nice forward smash, but even better DI from Zhu to not get hit by the front of Ooh, that. Good edge guard. Yeah. I mean, he really didn't have much good options there, but Mad Dot Zed covered uh, landing on the platform really, really well. She was still in a really solid position to take this game, though. What a work to do. Oh, and the down oh. smash! And that'll do it. Zhu taking that set 2-1 over Meliod on his own Mad Dot Zed. Shout out to Mad Dot Zed, by the way, for saving the tournament. Yeah, but yeah, really. Yeah. Like, I don't think we would have been on time without Mad Dot Zed no, here. No. I mean, we, start, we had a schedule today, and. Uh, we actually were able to start um, the Melee uh, Top 32 bracket, like, before it's scheduled time. Like, that's incredible, you know? Yeah. Actually being ahead of schedule, on time. It's really that. incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. So big kudos to him. Yeah, big kudos to Matt Dautzeb. He deserves more than anyone today. So, shout-outs to him. How is your day going? 
has been good. It's been so hype with yeah. PM and Smash 4. Oh, oh my god. So oh my goodness. <laughs> I couldn't contain myself. I couldn't I couldn't handle it. Oh yeah. my god. That was incredible. That was and too much. For I me. just love that, you know, game five, set two, grand finals, last stock. Oh, that was just so much. Whew. So much feelings. It's like there's more melee singles going on that it's not on stream. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out right now uh, who to get next. What? Um, Here on the yes. We're gonna get up. Oh, oh cool. okay, that's fine. Yeah. All so, right, uh, I'm going to be replaced by another Asian. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zhu coming in, talk about some things. I definitely want to ask him about that set if I get the opportunity. All right, so uh, we got Zhu coming up. Oh, what a nice headset. I know. Oh. It's it's so nice. Your camera freaks out yeah. because looking at your shirt. Oh. Yeah, the aliasing, right? Oh, yeah. let's, oh. Let's go. oh. Oh. Woo. Oh, my gosh. It's so trippy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my eyes hurt. Okay, I'm done with that. All right. This, uh, this could potentially give people seizures. Yeah. Would See? you guys get in trouble for that? <laughs> Is no one ever going to watch a, Calif uh, sorry, a Colorado stream again? Yeah. Yeah, they, they get seizure. They get a seizure.